family gets more than $4 million as part of a wrongful death settlement. This case highlights an issue many people are experiencing in the metro when they make an emergency call for help. KNBC 9's Andy Alcock investigates what experts call the fundamental mistake that cost one mother her life. My mom lying on the ground. Catherine McClellan's eight-year-old son called 911 from their Prairie Village home in July 2019. He did everything right. He he acted heroically. The 911 call from Catherine's cell phone hit a tower across the state line, so the call went to KCPD. I live in Prairie Village, Belinder Avenue. According to expert witnesses, as soon as the boy identified where he lived with the house number, 7347. 7347. The call should have been transferred to the Prairie Village Police Department and Johnson County Med Act for an ambulance, which medical experts say likely would have saved Catherine's life. Instead, the call was transferred to the Kansas City Fire Department. A call taker there had the boy check on Catherine. Mom, Mom, she won't talk back. As a running clock shows, more than 11 minutes after the boy called for help, a Kansas City Fire Department supervisor finally called Johnson County Med Act to make sure an ambulance was coming. Checking on the 7347 Belinder, just to make sure you guys had that address. I don't have any calls there. We have a problem in this city. And if nothing else from Catherine's death, we can help save other people's lives. It's just absolutely unacceptable that this is the situation that we still have to live with. While the case is settled, Catherine and Frank's son and daughter are growing up without their mom. Andy Alcock, KNBC 9 News. And part of that settlement includes what's being called Catherine's Code. This requires KCPD to randomly screen at least 59 calls a month to make sure they are being handled correctly.